rubber base gel overlay on short nails. What's up nail crew? It's Nicole, your fellow nail obsessed DIYer. Today we are doing my first video on how to do rubber base gel. A bunch of you have asked me to do a video on how you do how you use rubber base and I've been waiting to do one because I've been testing some out for OG dip powder and today I'm doing the one with Lose You to Love Me. It's the very first one that's come out and it's this gorgeous pink with a gold shimmer. I've already prepped my nails which means I've already removed my excess cuticle and roughed up the surface of my nails. I have a tiny bit of builder gel left on my the base of my nails but I tried to remove as much as I possibly could with the e-file before I went in and did my nail prep. Then I did my nail prep like I normally do. I dehydrated all my nails, I applied a primer on then all five nails, and then I went in and did a second layer of primer. For this rubber base, you don't need any gel base under it. That's one of the nice things about using rubber base. Most of them, you don't need a layer of gel base underneath. Right after you do your primer or bond, you can jump right into application. We're gonna start out with talking about some of the things that you absolutely have to do with using rubber base. You have to do a slip layer. Rubber base does not self-level, at least this one that I'm using, it doesn't self-level like Builder Gel it does. Like if you don't do the slip layer on your nail, you are gonna really struggle with the application. The slip layer is just a super thin layer of the rubber gel base and you apply that over your entire nail so that then once you start your official like application of the rubber base, it just slides down your nail since you already have that really thin layer and it's easier to float. Because this rubber base gel doesn't self-level like a builder gel does, you have to do a little bit more work in it. Builder gel is a lot more forgiving compared to rubber base, so I wanted to make sure that I went into a lot of detail about how you apply the rubber base. And I'm sorry if I sound funny, my allergies have been out of control and we were outside a lot, and that is why I probably sound a little bit stranger, a little bit different than I normally do. So once you get that slip layer of the rubber base on, then you take a little like dollop, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, a little dot, little dollop, and put it back towards the back of your cuticle, not quite to the very back at your cuticle, and then take that little blob, push it back towards your cuticles, and then gently float it back and forth down your nail. The key to the rubber base that I found is floating. You constantly wanna float. You, the only time you wanna press the rubber base into your nail is when you're applying that first slip layer because outside of that, you don't wanna press it down or it's gonna get, like, it just doesn't apply even and again, I think that goes back to that it's not self-leveling like Builder Gel is. You apply the main area of the rubber base on the center of your nail when you're doing that application after your slip layer, and you do not cure your slip layer. So you're seeing me do it on my, on my pointer finger. I did my slip layer, and then I take a little dollop of the gel, and then float it back and forth down the center of my nail, almost to the end, and then very gently just float the rest around the nail, pulling it down. Then I take a thin nail art brush and go in and like fill in the sides, just pulling it down towards the sides. And your bare Barely touching the rubber base the whole time you barely want to touch it that is how I'm getting the rubber base to be even that's something I struggle with the first couple times that I did rubber base when I was trying to apply it I could not get it to look even I was getting really frustrated so I definitely will say that rubber base I feel like it's something for you if you've done builder gel for a while you feel really comfortable and you're like hey I want a new challenge on my nails I want to learn something new let's jump into rubber base because I will say I love how rubber base gel feels really flexible it is much more flexible than builder gel rubber base like you can literally like move your finger around and the rubber base is meant to bend with your nail versus the builder gel it's a it's a harder product so even though they both feel like a thicker viscosity gel because they both are there's so many differences and that's what I want to make sure that people understand is that when you're applying rubber base it's not going to be exactly like builder gel it's, it's a lot different so don't get frustrated if you struggle the first few times on rubber base, I definitely struggled a bunch of times before I finally felt like I was comfortable with the application. And the first time I did not do the slip layer, I just totally forgot about it. And once I started getting my application be down better and like feeling like I knew how to float it and how to move the brush, it's just going to take some getting used to. And like 
like I do with any kind of gel, I make sure that I don't cure any on my skin. That is really huge. We never want to ever cure any gel on our skin because that can lead to gel allergies and we definitely don't want that. Another huge key to using the rubber base is having a thin nail art brush. That's how you get really close to your cuticles. Since the, since the rubber base doesn't self-level, I was able to get really close to my cuticles and get my application a lot more even by using that thin nail art brush at the end once I got like a majority of the application down how I felt like I was comfortable with it because I was still working on my apex the nice thing about my nails now being short is I didn't have to hardcore worry about the apex as if they were long I just wanted to like do as best as I possibly could starting the apex I know everybody doesn't do an apex when their nails are short but for me I really like it like as my nails get longer my apex will already be a little bit built when they're short and then it just doesn't feel so difficult to try to get down as my nails grow longer it just feels like a lot more natural once I start doing it with short nails now just like builder gel you want to make sure that you flash cure your nail with each nail for at least five seconds before moving to the next one you definitely don't want to leave it totally uncured before moving to the next nail or it still will move as i do each nail i'm continuing to think about what i'm doing i do the slip layer as thin as i possibly can do a little dollop back towards the back not all the way back and then gently push the rubber base towards my cuticle and then float it down the center of the nail swooping it gently back and forth back and forth and then dragging down the sides towards the tip of my nail then I go back in for the detail with the little nail art liner brush that for me was like I felt like by the last couple nails I was like okay I'm really getting this process down it's feeling a lot more natural once all your nails are flash cured then you can go in and fully cure your thumb separately and then do your pinky through pointer separately that's just going to make sure that all of your nails are fully cured and you didn't put your thumb in at a weird angle now <laughs> something that was really funny that i forgot was that rubber base is squishier than builder gel it doesn't cure hard like builder gel so when i wiped off the tacky layer uh, with ice purple alcohol before i went and buffed i thought oh my gosh my nails didn't my nails didn't hard or my nails didn't fully cure but they did. It was just because rubber base is not going to feel like builder gel. I did a very minimal buff and shaping along the sides just to make sure that my shape was still good to go. And then I just buffed the top real gently to slope the sides of my nails down so that there weren't like any weird ridges on the sides. And that's all I did for the buffing and shaping. Then I wiped them off again with ice purple alcohol. I've been using a spray bottle, which has worked really nice so that I can just spray the alcohol on my nails and then do a quick wipe. Then I went back in with dehydrator dehydrated all my nails and did a layer of primer because I wanted these to last for a while and I went through and did the gel base and gel top just so I could see how it looked shiny I knew I was going to be wearing these for a couple days before I tried to dip over them so I wanted to get like that full effect you can wear the rubber base alone with just gel base and gel top over it or you can do a dip mani or a gel mani over that you could use peel base and you can do your gel or dip directly over the rubber base. If you're still struggling with builder gel application and you want to learn more about that, check out the next video. Thanks for joining me today, Nail Crew.